What is the diagnosis? This is an atrial septal aneurysm, also known as an intraatrial septal aneurysm. It is defined as an abnormal protrusion of the intraatrial septum. There are varying definitions in the literature of the exact length of the protrusion. The range is from greater than 11 to greater than 15 millimeters beyond normal excursion in adults and greater than 5 millimeters in children. The entire intraatrial septum can be involved or it can be limited to the fossil valley. Here's another example showing bulging of the intraatrial septum into the right atrium. It is associated with ASDs and PFOs. An ASD atrial septal defect is a through and through communication in the intraatrial septum that typically allows blood to go from the left to right chambers. A PFO, patent foramen ovale, is a lack of fusion of the flat black hole in the intraatrial septum primum and secundum, allowing blood to go from the right to left chambers and could be a cause for a stroke. Due to turbulent flow within the aneurysm, thrombi can also develop, which can embolize into the brain causing stroke or other parts of the body causing infarcts. This finding is encountered in approximately 1% of the pediatric population. Several classification systems have been proposed, including the following, which categorizes based on the involvement of the right and left atria. It's important to distinguish from an accessory left atrial appendage. Here we see a four millimeter triangular shaped outpouching from the superior medial wall of the left atrium which has a wide base and smooth margins, consistent with a left atrial accessory appendage. This is found in less than 10% of patients. They're seen as a small diverticular structure projecting from the right upper side of the left atrial wall. It's important not to confuse this with an atrial septal aneurysm, which is usually larger. You now know a lot about atrial septal aneurysms. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.